Hey everyone, this is Michael Trithart, National Technology Instructor. I want to let you know about a nice little tip for your e-agency site that's going to help you with your SEO. So, a little bit of a background though. Uh, we're going to pretend that in this situation that all of your domain name information has already been set up at GoDaddy. So in my case, MichaelTrithart.com has already been set with GoDaddy. If you don't know how to do that, I've got another video on my YouTube channel that will show you that process. So we're going to pretend that that part has already been done. We come over into kw.com, we come over to where we see my marketing, hit the plus sign, go in, click on manage e-agency website. Once we do that, that's going to bring you over to this screen. Now, one thing that I want you to do is I want you to come down here and go to 3.0 and look at 3.7. This is where you're going to go in, you're going to create pages. This is how, this are all the pages that I've created on my website, quite a bit, and you can do as many as you want. If you don't know how to do this, on my homepage of michaeltridhart.com, if you click the e-agency icon, there's a training manual that will walk you through how to do a lot of the features such as this. This is one of them. Another spot that we're going to go in and add some content is going to be step 3.1. But here's the big difference of what we're talking about in this video. If I go to 3.1 and I click on additional and hit save, Additional is going to showcase all of the pages that I've created in step 3.7, basically where they're stored. So for a page to exist online, it has to be online somewhere. And that's where they're going to be is 3.7 pages are going to be stored underneath additional. But here's the big part of what we're talking about. If I hit this button right here that says preview, that will preview your website. However, it will preview it in the back office mode, which is going to show the the name of your website dot your kwagent.com so michael t dot your kwagent.com and if I come down here and I look at where I see additional these are all the pages that I've created and while I'm in this mode if I come down here and I click on for instance uh, social media enhancements click on that page that page when it opens up is going to be michael t dot your kwagent.com forward slash whatever it's going to be so there's the name of it Here's the big SEO tip. Don't go in and start linking up the pages by hitting the preview button. You're just previewing to make sure that the pages look good and, and everything else like that. Get your domain name set up. Open that up in a brand new window that says michaeltrithart.com. And then when you come down here to where you see additional, because we are not previewing it in the back office, but previewing it like what it should look like, when I scroll down, and I click on that same exact page, give it a second for it to load up here, the page that was showing previously the michaelt.ukwagent.com is now going to show my name, michaeltrithart.com and maybe it's not uh, my name.com, maybe it's uh, friscotxhomesforsale.com, it's, it's uh, uh, destinhomesforsale.com, whatever the case may be, whatever domain name that you have that's what you want to see and then that way when you go in and you start linking everything up it's going to have your name.com as the name so for instance if I come over here and I click on this screen because I've already gone in and linked it up you're gonna see www.michaeltrithart.com as the name for that link versus anything that starts with michaelt.ukwagent.com so make sure that you're using the public link that's the only change. You know, the michaelt.yourkidofagent.com versus www.michaeltrithart.com. So what you could do is if, you're, if you've already linked up a bunch of things on your website, you could just come over here, highlight just this piece, copy it, then go back into step 1.5, for instance. Click on this button. Come over here, left click and, and left click on insert and edit link and then go in and change the michaelt.yourkidofagent.com to what we have already in here which is www.michaeltrithart.com everything else would stay you would hit OK, hit save and that link will work so the reason why we do this is it's going to show the name that we want it to show versus .yourkidofagent.com you're going to get better SEO from this so if you have any questions on this feel free to shoot me an email you can watch any of the other videos that I have on my YouTube channel you can also come over here on my home page, click on the e-agency button, which by the way is showing what we just talked about, the name that I want.com. 
and then right here click on the e agency step-by-step -step training manual and it'll walk you through this if you feel like you want to have some assistance done and you want to have us to, to help you with it all you got to do is come over here to where it says website and social media enhancements click any one of the options that we have right here look at some of the samples that we've got and we'd be happy to help you with this process and everything else with the design so Look forward to talking with you soon, and I hope you found this video to be beneficial. Thanks so much. Bye.